Hey guys, how the frig's it going today? As you may or may not know, the lake is about to open soon. Fishing season. <laughs> As you may or may not know, tackle shops have not opened yet because they haven't been deemed essential. Well, they are kind of, sort of, but not really. Basically, you can get tackle, but it's curbside. That sucks. So like last year, this year I decided, you know what would be kind of cool? Let's make our own tackle again. So last year I made three lures. They were all three crankbaits. Two of them were lipless crankbait. The third one was like a jerkbait. One worked okay, it looked like ass. One looked like a perch, hit road sideways. I decided, you know what? Let's try and make something a little different this year. So I have a spinner that I was looking at and I was like, you know, that's kind of cool, but how hard would it be to make my own? I came across on a site, a way to make the spinner that doesn't require you to order clevises or spinners off of Amazon or any other bait shop to build bait. All you need, pop can, a beer can. I got one of my dealkalized beers here, so. Got to get rid of this. <clears throat> the bottom of the can is what we'll be using. First thing we got to do is draw out a shape. Which means I need my Sharpie. Thought I had a Sharpie on here. <clears throat> oh God, did you guys hear that? We got a paint marker here. So we're just going to go ahead and draw ourselves out a shape. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just draw yourself out a shape. You can make your spinner smaller, bigger. It's your call, really. You're making the lure. I'm just going to show you some, some ideas and tips that I got from a couple channels online. Now, they use scissors to cut it out. I'm gonna use tin snips. So the first thing we need to do is we need to rip a hole in the can. I think for that, I'm gonna use my multi-tool here. This might dull my blade on my knife, but the bottom half of the can off. Now, you don't have to use a beer can for this, like guys, you, you can use a pop can. Basically, what you're looking for is a can with a bottom like this, this round, because it's already got the shape you're looking for for the actual, the paddle to grip. All right, so we got that taken off. We don't need this part anymore. You can put that in your recycling, crush it up, whatever, throw it in the garbage. If you don't recycle, that's your call to make. Now, this is the first one I've ever made. I wanted to wait closer to fishing before I made this video. What I'm gonna do is just cut along here. Getting over this lip seems to be a little bit problem, but you can just chop through it. And for the initial cuts, you wanna cut not right on the line, just go a little bit outside the line, because you're probably gonna have to fine tune it. So let me get this cut and I'll show you what the fin looks like. Now, it's not by far the best shape, but it will work. Of course, I messed up some spots here. I might chop this end off and then rip my hole through it. So, now remember, you don't need to drink beer to make this. You can do it with Coke. You can have like a Coca-Cola can or a Pepsi can or a ginger ale can or if you can find canned Fago in your area, Fago can. We don't really have Fago this far up north. It's not really something a lot of people buy around here. So, I just had this beer in the fridge and I figured, you know what? Let her rip tater chip. Seeing how I heard walleye like spinner baits, I figured let's make a spinner bait to catch a walleye because on Saturday, only walleye and perch are legal. Now, we have our spinner here. I'm gonna take a file to it and clean up those edges because they're kind of sharp and I'll be right back. All right guys, so we got our blade all good and good to go. She's all smoothed out, but I still need to rip a hole in it. So I'm gonna take it over here to the drill press. This is gonna be our first time using the drill press since we fixed it for an actual drilling project, not just to turn it on to see if it works. All right, guys, so we're gonna rip a hole. Just like that, little hole. Okay, Adam, you made a blade, now what? Well, guys, think about this, you make a blade. What can you make with a blade? You can make uh, a spinner blade on a crank to make disrupt the water and, you know, piss off some fish. You can make yourself a map spinner, you know, Use some weight, boom, you got yourself a freaking MEPS spinner or a beer cap. And unfortunately for this, you do need a beer cap unless you know of a soda that has one of these metal caps because what you need to do is you need to bend that cap in a certain direction, a certain angle. And you can make yourself a little rattle trap with a freaking spinner on it. First, we gotta take care of this beer problem. And guys, this is also alcohol-free beer. Let me just show you here, because I've been sober for two years, two months. So I don't know if you can read that there, but it says 0%, it's dealkalized Beck's beer. I got it literally just for this video because I needed a metal beer cap. Cheers.
<coughs> it's not too bad, but I like the cheap stuff better. Anyway, the reason why you need one of these beer caps, and I like the twist offs better because the twist off the twist offs don't have this happen to them. You basically need to fold it in on itself. Oh, this one's gonna wreck. Basically, you need it to fold in on itself like this. Now, before we get it all the way, I want to drill a couple holes in it. <coughs> now, the reason for the holes, all right, is we need somewhere to tie this thing off on. Now, to make this lure that I'm making, you're going to need some wire. Where the hell did I put my wire? There it is. So I got this here. This stuff here is pretty thick. It's uh, 16 gauge. No, I don't want to use 16 gauge. That's kind of ridiculous. Where did I put that 20 gauge? All right, guys, I got this uh, 20 gauge galvanized wire from the dollar store. And basically, I cut myself off a piece here. What we're going to do is we're going to put one end in the vise, the other end in the chuck of a drill. Pull it straight, pull the trigger. Once was curbed, now is straight as a whistle wire. So what we're gonna need to do with this is, we're gonna, first off, I don't need this whole section for what I'm doing, so we're gonna cut it down a little bit. How much, I don't know, once again. If you do your own lure, come up with your own sizes, figure it out. That's what I like about watching YouTube videos, is I watch how people do stuff, and then I come up with my own idea. So I'm gonna pass it through here, I'm gonna loop it up, loop it up, and then wrap it around a couple times, and we should be golden. So now you're probably saying, Adam, you don't have a clevis. We're gonna make one. We're gonna make one with this wire. So what we're gonna do, I wish I had metal uh, wire bending pliers. Best I have are these pieces of junk, so these will have to do. So we're gonna come at the end here, all right, and we're gonna fold it over onto itself. Sorry, I'm not showing you here. That's gonna make kind of like one of those. I'd like it a little tighter than that. So let's make it a little tighter. And I wanna go a couple times around that. It looks like that. Okay, then we're gonna have to do the same on the other side. Pass our blade through like this. Then we're gonna come on the other side here and we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to build the same thing over here. So, I'll be right with you. All right, so we built the clevis, not the greatest, but I don't want it sitting and rubbing on the beer cap. So, I bought some beads last year. I need to find them. So we're gonna put some beads in there too. Oh, that's pretty sweet. The camera has 69% battery life left. Thought I mentioned. Anyway, I found the beads, but I thought I bought smaller ones. Turns out I didn't. Anyway, got these wooden craft beads. They're way too big for what I want. And I got these weird ones, which are pearl beads. I think they're plastic. These might do. So I'm gonna open these up. You know what? I had a little container over here. Remember guys, if you want to think fish, think fish. They're not sponsoring this video. Ice fishing's over. Anyway, I'll grab two beads from this. So what I'm thinking is we'll take the clevis and that off. We'll slide a bead on. Oh, perfect size. Nice. Slide the clevis back in. Now, of course, guys, my uh my rig is pretty crude, I will admit. Won't even, not even ashamed to admit. Like this entire rig setup is very, very, very crude. You could probably do a better job than I can. I actually hope you do. I'd love to see other versions of this that people are making. But as you can see, this is what we're gonna end up with, something similar to this. Let me just go ahead and get the tie off on the end going. I'll be with you in a moment. All right guys, so here it is, all right? But we're not done. See, the next thing we need to do before we close this bottle cap up, I want to put some lead weights in there, and you'll see why in a minute. Okay, so I'm just going to put six of these little lead weights inside of the beer cap, and then pinch it shut. Actually, before I do that, let's put the hook tie on it. All right, so I got the wire on here. I got to finish my hook tie, but that's going to be annoying underwater. Not as bad as a rattle trap, but... It's made from beer can and beer bottle, so that's kind of cool, all right? All right, guys, there we go. There is the final product. It makes a lot of noise. Got a Mustad Class 4 on the bottom. Super sticky. And it's a lure made out of... Now, you're probably saying, Adam, how come there's no split ring on that hook? I didn't have any left from last year, so that sucks. And also on the top, I don't have a split ring, but I do have a homemade. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a picture of it.
on the actual baitcaster. All right, there we go. Friggin' thing is ready to rock, so I don't know. We'll wait until uh, Saturday, and then we'll let her rip tater chip. Hopefully we don't catch a bass, because we can't keep those. All right, guys, welcome to the first day back to regular fishing. Obviously, ice fishing's over, because, well, look at it out there. Ain't gonna be walking on that water, that's for sure. So, the water is definitely lower than I'm used to. Still not as high as it should be, but we'll let her rip tater chip, and we'll test out the new lure. So, like I said, we're gonna test out this new, the new beer cap, beer can lure. See just how well she do. There we go, we're all freed up. Make sure she's connected, make sure she's on there good. Let's give her a dunk and see how she do. I don't know if you guys can see the action on that, but there's next to none. All right. Let's send her out and see if we can cast it at least. Okay, she wants to surface like right away. So I'm gonna send it, I'm gonna let it sip her a bit. <laughs> She's not going that far, that's for sure. I also bought some worms and uh, snacks because you can't go fishing and go hungry. Oh, I just bought some beverages. I'm gonna have a steak for supper tonight, so figured we'd come out here and test out the new homemade lure. See just how well she do. Ah, it feels good to be back out fishing, boys. You don't know. I have been looking forward to this day. It's ice fishing closed on my birthday. Okay, it does have good action. It actually does spin. Cool, okay. I'm getting no range with this though, with this cast. I think I got my brake on too high. Yes. If you sail it back, she she levels. Let me see here. You know what? Let's reducto that. There, that's better. Same distance. See, the problem is, is if I would have had uh, a clasp on the bottom for the hook, it would be a hell of a lot better. But I don't, so it's causing nothing but, but tangling. Oh, we got a bass boat coming in. No, she definitely has a good spin to her. She um, works about as good as a beer can lure would. I'm gonna keep chucking this around for about a half an hour and I'll chime back in if anything bites. All right guys, I'm gonna change it up. This here's not working. I'm gonna try something else here, but uh, we definitely will try this bait out again. So this here just became a homemade bait video into a fishing video because the kids beside me just got a pike and I got a lot of pike too. So let's go. All right guys, we're gonna try a little shad even though we don't have shad in this lake i'm gonna try this here for a bait because it does have the nice colors we're gonna see how well this here works and the action on it's kind of pissed but all right let's send it out and see what happens i should probably check my settings said to go back to the tried tested and true worms just forgot how slippery these freaking things were. God, they're so hard to uh, to stick with a hook. There we go. He's not having a good time. Ouch. You can tell by the ouch sounds he's making. Ouch. Ow. There we go. Big ball of worm. Send that out. Or send it. One thing I don't miss about regular fishing versus ice fishing is ice fishing, you never get snagged. I got 10 pound braid on here. I could pretty much, this here doesn't snap. Oh, we either freed it up or broke it off. Judging by the weight, we freed it up, but our worm got away. That lucky bastard. All right, well, we're gonna move down a bit. That's what I hate about fishing on this side of this gray thing because there's like a huge log out here somewhere, and I'm notorious for catching it. Anyway, did that straighten the hook on my jig? Nope. And it also didn't damage my spinner from Amazon, so... I was having people saying, oh, those spinners are junk because they're made of cheap material and they bend out so easily. Well, I just caught a log and it was able to free it. And the only thing I lost was my worm. So, personally, I would say Amazon tackle is not too bad. Anyway, let me grab another one of these hyperactive guys and uh, get them hooked. Else I missed from ice fishing. 
It's having the fish finder and watching the fish come up and bite the line. Ah, oh, that was so much fun. But you know what I don't miss from ice fishing? It's having to drag all that gear on the lake and the cold and the propane cost. That was getting expensive. Google if it was gonna rain today and she said no and it's starting to rain. You can see it over there, it's just pissing down and over there it's really coming down. But we got a nice glob of clouds above us. Yeah, we're gonna get some wet. Here we go. Okay, so um, here's my first catch of the day with somebody else's jig head. Yeah, you can tell it wasn't my line, it's monofilament. So sweet, free tackle, love it. There we go guys. First fish of the season. Oh, and we can't keep them. Hey, buddy. Hey, take it easy. Oh, I caught you right on the outside of your face. All right. Hey, wait, I can whip you. Right? Relax. All right, take it easy. All right, guys, first fish of the season, little bass. Go, be free. What's that? Not too bad. Uh, caught a knot keeper. Caught a bass. Had to send him back. Uh, just, uh, just a little guy? Yeah, just a little guy. Uh, one guy caught a walleye, some kids caught a pike. Yep. Pike was about yay big. Yeah. Pretty nice. Exciting anyways for the guys up there. Oh yeah. It's pretty quiet out there. I think it's gonna pick up at around I would say 738 when the sun comes That's down. Usually they say, uh, That's how it is around here. Yeah. Usually you're probably looking for my license. As long as you have it on you, it's good. Yeah. No fish in the bucket? No, there's a an empty and a full gatorade. I didn't plan on keeping anything today. Yep, that's good enough. Perfect. I wasn't planning on keeping anything today. I just wanted to come out and see if they're biting because I heard the lake was open for walleye and perch and thought I'd yeah. give her a rip and see what I can find. The weather's decent, so better out here than sitting at home, eh? Yeah. Yeah, the next spot I want to try is probably Nipissing, like uh, the, gar the government dock. Yeah, same thing after 8 o'clock. That's when the walleye pick up. Yeah. And uh, the guys have been doing fairly well there. I know last night they did. All right, guys, the whole reason why I turned on the GoPro a while ago wasn't to film the him and our officer. It was uh, basically to say that I'm pretty much done for the night. Uh, we caught that one bass. He was, you know, he was all right, but we can't keep him because they're not in season, and he definitely wasn't a keeper size. So I figured, frigate, I don't know where the hell he came. Oh, there's an Ontario truck over there. Okay. Oh, you know what? I bought two Gatorades when I was at, um, at the... Uh, at the store and I wanted to grab the second one here and drink it in the truck Some Vitamin water sure Call it what you want in the end. It's just freaking sugar-free kool-aid to me. Anyway, it's uh Quarter after six the walleye like I said, you probably heard me talking to the officer about it um, They usually start picking up around 738, but I'm probably gonna be in bed by then because tomorrow is a work day so Let's pitter patter have at her, get out of here, and go home. I'm gonna cook a steak. All right, guys, we're home now. Put all my shit away. Reason why I didn't stay longer, you probably heard me talking to him, to the uh, the guy, the MNRF officer. About eight o'clock is when it picks up. But like I said, I gotta work tomorrow, so I still haven't had any food today. So I figured I bought some steaks when I bought stuff for the camping. And there are two great big Goliath steaks. Like, I mean, look at the size of that chunk of meat. It's the size of my plate. So I figured I'll cook one of those up tonight for dinner. And that can be my one meal a day food for today. And then I got another one in the fridge for tomorrow. I had no intents on keeping any fish today, unless I caught a pike. Because I probably would have kept and ate that. Because pike is friggin' delicious. I don't care who you are. 
Uh, Sarah mentioned that she, she's gone fishing with her brother, so she's out on a boat, probably doing way better than I did, and catching way more than I did, and just having a way better time than I did. But not to say I didn't have a good time myself, because uh, it's nice to get back out there and, and give her a hard dangle. But I do definitely need to find some better spots to go fishing, some hotter spots, some funner spots. And that's what we're gonna do. Now, today's video was mainly about that bait, trying to fish with it, and I should've just kept going with it because I probably would've caught the bass on that. Uh, that was a weird strike too. It was one of those, and I wish I would've caught the strike on camera because I didn't know how to fish it. And one of the guys said, just reel it, let it go, reel it, let it go, reel it, let it go. And he goes, do it in like a one and then wait. One and then wait. So you reel for a second, then you wait a second. Reel for a second, and you just give it like one crank, one half crank. And he's like, it simulates a, a hurt fish. So I tried his method, kept the tip down like he said, and then all of a sudden, friggin' that little ambitious bass came out of nowhere and just smoked it. Because the rod just, just bent right over. I was like, holy crap, we got one, boys. Turn the GoPro on. Let's start filming and reel this guy back in. Yay, yay. But anyway, guys, that's my plan for tonight is uh, got no fish to clean, but that's okay. We got steak to eat, and I'm mighty fine with that. Maybe some other time this week, we'll head out to the wall. See if we can pull off some sheephead. It would be kind of nice to catch them and go from there. So right now, Oreo and I are just going to cook the steak up. So he got half the lawn sucked to his ass. This friggin' dog's Velcro, man. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like, favorite, all that fun stuff. And until next time, guys, remember, just because the government won't let you have fun doesn't mean you can't make fun for yourself. All right, peace out. Sit, stupid, sit. Good dog.